Oh, what's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and I'm back with another episode of Inside the Network, where we share exclusive content from inside of brandmannetwork.com. Now, this clip right here is from a collaboration that Brand Man Network did with the members of Music Entrepreneur Club. Me and Dame sat down, answered questions for about two, three hours. And in this particular clip, I talk about a big problem that artists have when it comes to running ads. Let's get into it. Hey, Sean, man. Uh, you mentioned running an ad and then when you run an ad for a new release it's like going back to square one mm -hmm. reset how do you keep from resetting it are you setting up like a bridge page that you add a pixel to are you running it to people who watch 75 percent of the last video how do you keep from doing that okay so there's multiple ways one way would be that simple who watched the percentage of this video right um and we have to remember that marketing, especially at the beginning, and especially when we're talking about digital, but just marketing as a whole, should be one big process of learning. And the exposure should be your database, right? So a lot of times people will spend just a little bit of money on, on a video instead of really getting that video seen by a lot of people. So then I, then I have a big database of people who responded positively, hopefully, to that song and now I can retarget those people. So if I run this video up until it has 500,000 positive responses, now when I say positive responses, you can judge what that positive response of the campaign is, whether that's a click through, whether that's watched at least 50% of it, right? Or whatever that might look like. If I keep running it until I have 500,000 positive responses or 100,000, the point is to get more than 35 right these, these smaller numbers now i have that database that i can use to retarget that way right and of course there's just that from a basic facebook campaign that is really easy to do that whole target do it by, by a percentage but then you do have things like bridge pages and there's different ways to go about the bridge pages right you can do the bridge page for an opt-in which is if you're if not really worth doing it unless you really are running that landing page strategy and are invested in that particular strategy um, but a, a mid-way bridge pay, pay strategy is also utilizing a redirect where you are running a Spotify campaign because Spotify is a dark zone, right? So you run a Spotify campaign, you lead people over to Spotify, you don't know what the hell happened over there. All you can do is infer based on if plays went up or not. But if you have a bridge page between that and then let it redirect to the Spotify campaign, then it'll run people through that page, that bridge page, the pixel will activate, right? And register, pick them up. Then the redirect will send them to the Spotify camp, uh, page, which was their whole goal um, to get to in the first place, but you actually capture um, that data as well. So there's a, diff a lot of different ways to do it, but the point is to make sure you've built the infrastructure to, and plan to be able to do it ahead of time. So you, so you can, um, like I said, not start from ground zero, but you're, you're only going to get the best value out of your retargets if you build enough of a database on the front end to, to actually be able to retarget for one, enough money. Uh, I mean, for a low enough cost, because if you don't have a big audience to target, it's not going to really be uh, cost effective. Um, or, um, and two, even if you don't have a particular song or video, obviously if you have a particular, a, a, a sizable following, you can always run the engagement campaign on Instagram where it basically says anybody who's interacted with this page over this past period of time, that's another hack if you're just starting from ground zero, but that might not be worth it for most people. I, I um, recommend just starting with whatever that song is getting into that particular audience, responding directly to that song, not necessarily your profile, especially if you aren't already a few phases up. If you are if you feel like you're starting from ground zero or close to it, you need to just start with music and build your database off of the music and then retarget that database. All right, again, if you want to see that entire clip, you can check it out on brandmannetwork.com. But one thing I really want to stress is, again, artists spend so much money or waste so much money just 
put starting an ad, right? And you run that ad, and then look, if you're running that ad and you don't really give it maximum visibility, you put fifty dollars behind an ad, and the, or a hundred dollars behind an ad, and then you stop, and then you start with a brand new audience with a whole nother um, video five months later, and only put thirty dollars behind that ad, and then a few weeks later you put another thirty dollars behind that ad. It's not going to do anything for you. You need to at least be collecting something and be intentional about either expanding continuously that same data set or make sure you're capturing over that period of time. I'll go deeper into that and really break that stuff down sometime in the coming months, but keep that in mind. Quit wasting money, right? Either you're going to do it right and strategically and build out and stick to a strategy or don't do it at all. Go find some other means to an end because you're just wasting your money. Unless you just say, I'm in learning mode. I'm just trying to learn how to run ads well. But a part of learning how to run ads well is also learning how to have a strategy that those ads are feeding versus just being an isolated ad in and of itself. So please be more intentional and thoughtful about how you go about running ads. Again, as always, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe.